Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you one of my favorite software for a Mac to basically clean up your Mac, speed up your Mac, and even do a virus check on your Mac all at the same time. And this is from a reputable company. Usually you see these type of softwares in pop-up ads and they're almost always malware and spam themselves, but this is from a big company that has a lot more software than just this. And I've tested it out for quite a while and it works really well. So I'm gonna put a link in the description to this. It's called Clean My Mac X. They have other apps like this for PC and other softwares as well. But basically there is a free trial here. There is a free addition technically that does a little bit. And then if you like what it's doing, you could go ahead and buy it now. So I'm gonna start with the free addition because this does give you a lot of options without ever paying for it. And I'll show you some of the paid options here to improve what it's doing for you. So let me go ahead and click this here. And here on my Mac, it's just downloading it right here on the bottom. So I'm gonna let this download complete and I'm just gonna click in the corner here and I'll just have to move it to my application folder just like that and let go. So now let me open my application folder, look for clean my Mac X and I'm gonna double click to launch it. And I'm gonna give it access to my removable volume. That's my hard drive here. And I'm gonna agree to the privacy and terms of service and I'll press okay. So let me expand the size of the application here and let me show you a couple important things here on the side of what this app is capable of. So if you see on the side here, there's smart scan. That's what we're gonna start with, but let me show you what that's gonna do. It's gonna do a cleanup check. So that's system junk, things you don't need that are kind of hidden in your system files. Your mail attachments, those usually take gigabytes of space that you don't know about and it checks your trash can. So those are just a cleanup stage. Protection checks for malware and privacy. And speed does optimization and maintenance and that will do all these scans under smart scan. So I'm actually gonna be right here on their smart scan, but if you wanted to do specific things, you could just grant it access to those very specific things like malware removal, for example, and just press scan on the bottom. But let me go ahead and do a smart scan and press scan here. And depending on the size of your hard drive, this may take a few minutes or a few seconds. In my case, it took less than a minute to do this, but now I could see what it found for me. So let's just start with protection. That's the malware removal basically. And it found no threats at all. So that's great. I don't have to worry about that. Then the cleanup, I could see the review details tab and I could see exactly what it found. So it found a lot of system junk here. And as you could see, it broke it down here for me. So if I don't want it to remove some of these, I could just check them off. So I could be very specific here on what system junks I want removed. And I do have to give it access. So you see this grant access. Let me go ahead and press this just to show you. But I have to go under system preferences. So I'll show you this step because otherwise it can't do anything to your hard drive. And I need to unlock it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it, type in my password. And here under full disk access, I need to give it access. So I need to make sure clean my Mac X is checked on here and then quit and restart the application. So I'll just go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so back to the application here, again, review details. And now I gave it access so it could actually do its thing if I press run on the bottom of the page. But let's look at speed and what that's doing. If you press the number here, it's gonna show you the three different things that's gonna do with speed. So you could also check those off and not run all those or none of those if you don't wanna do that and just wanna do the cleanup. And when ready, you're gonna press run. Now the free version does have a limitation on how much it's gonna clean up. So let me press run and show you what it's gonna do. And I have to quit a couple of applications here, so I'm gonna go ahead and quit those. And type in my password again. And as you could see, it's doing the cleanup here. And this is what I'm talking about with the free version. So it clean up a little bit, but it's asking me to activate to continue or if I already have a license. So I'm just gonna X out of here. And for the free version, I was about to clean up about a gig and a half of space from my system junk. The protection worked for free. So it did a complete malware check for me for free. And the speed, it did not run because I hit my free 
trial limitation here basically so you could always unlock the full version here but before i show you that let me just show you there's a couple other things that the smart scan doesn't do which you could uninstall any software here so as you can see i have 102 applications here i could go ahead and uninstall those it has the updater built in so i could press that and see which one of my softwares need to be updated i could take care of those all right here and it has some other options that I'm not gonna go through in this video, but you could check out all these options that come with this app. So now let me press unlock full version just to show you here. So if I go to buy license, you could just go ahead and do it for one Mac for a one year subscription for 35 bucks. And they have a lifetime subscription, a one-time purchase here if you wanted to do that. And they have other licenses for multiple computers. So if you really use your computer all the time and doing these steps manually, which takes a lot longer and risking some of the softwares that I've downloaded in the past that actually gave me malware, this might be worth it. Or you could just try the free version just to see what's going on with your Mac and what's slowing it down and try to take care of those steps manually. But I hope you found this software useful. Again, the link to it is in the description if you wanted to test that out. Please give this video video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for daily and easy to follow tech videos and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching this video.